back with it. Look, uh, we'll do this much quicker today. I figured I'd you see how I go through the process at this point. So, you know, that I'm not sitting here making things up or it probably will make up better numbers if so. But um, we're looking at here, you know, several days I've gone ahead and now this is my head's in the way on this side. But I can have that better over here. Color coded them a little bit. These just kind of I've counted off as losses, the snow dog and the cross chain. So that's almost a hundred bucks there that's gone. And everything, a lot of other stuff is down. So we're gonna jump into really quickly today here. With the Myar exchange, they completely changed their platform. They changed the staking rewards for their pools. So they now give much higher rewards if you lock it up for over time like a year the lock max versus the regular max the apr is 94 versus a thousand apr i said what did i say i don't know 94 versus a thousand up here 70 versus a thousand 63 or 1130 <clears throat> sorry for the max versus the e-gold and the max liquidity pair where you get 70 if you don't stake it and a thousand 63 if you do stake. so I'm going with kind of a variation or mostly um, what's called the Houston strategy as opposed to the Denver strategy where all right, dear, part of it, I'm going to do the rest now in front of you really quickly. I uh, withdrew everything that I had in all the different pools, the, the breaks down. So I was getting equal amounts of lock max and max and turning the max into the ego and then being able to. Um, uh, create more liquidity pairs. So what I do now is just take all. I, I, I drew everything, and I've taken the um the liquidity pair I had there of the max, and um I, I restaked it back. So now and, and I staked it long term. So I'm getting locked max on that for the thousand sixty three. And now with all the rewards, I get the max. I'm going to stake in the top pool, the max pool for the one thousand one hundred and thirty. Uh, and right now I have enough Eagle. I think that'll last me for, you know, because they changed in everything. It was like fifty dollars a harvest. Now it's thirty dollars, uh, ten ten dollar minimum every 30 minutes. It was fifty dollars, period. So they'll change that over time. But I have enough Eagle to, to be able to pay the transaction fees i think for a good while so i'm going to uh, turn most of it in you know all of this in lock max and then when i stake this i'll show you now I'll do that here you see i have max and lock max so let's just do the lock max first i'll show you i'm going to do the entire amount 100 percent with the lock rewards lock rewards for the 12 times <clears throat> apr stake I'm going to pause this as I put my um, some passcode stuff in. So you can see now I'm paying a fee of 28 cents to put this about this is about $20, I think the 14. I think it's about 20 bucks. Continue. Maybe wrong. A little bit less than. So <clears throat> another thing is important when it, when you get to that screen and you and you well when you if you make an Elrond, um wallet and you create that keystone do not save it on your computer what i've done is i've have a um I have a zip drive i'm using right now that i've put a or a usb device that i have a, a lot of things that i will we'll talk about that i do a little bit of operational security that i save to that device and i take it off the computer every time i use it and i never leave information like that on a computer i'm using i rather have it you know it's not I guess you could technically get it almost close to being like almost a um, cold storage if you have an, I have an encrypted uh, drive as well. But, you know, this is just a regular USB that I use for that purpose. Stuff like that. I'll keep Keepstone, um, have for that, or my Ether wallet, stuff like that offline. I don't leave that on a uh, device. Usually this stuff go faster. If you, sometimes you refresh it, they'll be like, oh, hey, it was already done. So I staked. <clears throat> That lock max, and I'm going to now stake the max. Now, in the future, when I get create some more lock max, I'm not going to always stake 100% of it. I may stake like 90. 
pretty much. Is it about 90? Yeah, about 90 at some point because I'm going to want to create some ego so I can have enough to um, pay transaction fees. But right now, I'm good for several months. So I think right now, I'm just going to stake everything 100% um, for this much higher APR. And then as I have, so right here, um, yeah. All right, so that'll stake, and then that will start earning me locked mech at a rate of 1,130%. So we'll see how that will. We'll, we'll keep a keep an eye on that. And once we get the numbers, I'll add that to it <clears throat> and put that as well because I wasn't able to complete the chart earlier because I'm waiting for this value. But I want to show you some two other quick things as well while we wait for this. I bet you if I refresh, though, this is the only thing that does that when you refresh it, it gets, it'll, you know, go through everything else. Uh, Metaswap can care less about your refresh. I talked about this, I believe, briefly the other day. Not sure if in one of my daily videos or in this, but you made me finance. Um, Z swap has completely switched over. You can um, swap your Z2O or your. Or Z, yeah, no Z two zero, no Z two O, cause ohm. Um, your Z two O or your stake Z two ohm. I did that earlier, so now I have this S umi, and you also can get your umi S umi all blah blah. You know all the the trimmings and the things that you know about. Boosted APR right now two hundred sixty five thousand. It's funny that we even say these now like oh that's you know that's normal. <laughs> Did I get a re? Wait a second. Wait, well, I'm looking at this. Like, did I get a? Um, oh no, I guess that was thought I said 65 instead of uh, 85. I was thinking like what? And they got the geome uh, bonds. I oh, always switched that over too. So a couple of things in the past day is that I switched from I, I swapped. Um, wrap stake ohm for G ohm. G ohm is a governance token for ohm now that they have is going to be able to go across all chains. So their ohm has stepped in instead of you, everybody else using their wrapped ohm and said, well, we're going to use this product called G ohm, which is a wrap product that can go across all chains, use for your liquidity pools. And, you know, you have voting rights now in ohm if you hold G ohm. So swap that out. But it, you know it's the same, and I'll explain. I can explain quite honestly using Umi. So to figure out how much your wrapped product is creating, because it it, it value of it does not go up, and how they calculate it basically is the price of whatever we're talking about. So in this terms, we're talking about Umi. Do they have the index here? Yeah, yeah. So. The price of UMI times the index, and the index is if it, if you start with one or zero, or no, not zero, but probably just one. If you start with one, it counts how many rebases there have been since the start of the the contract. So uh, UMI Finance slash Z two O has a um, nine point two two. So you multiply that times wherever the price is, and that gives you the price of the wrapped product. And that goes, you know, for all the dials. So I think Ohm was like 40 or something like that. So 40 times whatever the price is, is the price of the wrap product. And then that way you can calculate. So if the price stays the same for six days straight, you should see the price go up by the rebase. Because the rebase increases. I'm, I'm sorry, the index goes up every rebase by the amount of the rebase. And so you would then see the price go up as if you were getting rebases. That's how that works. And so, <clears throat> got what we're talking about with that, but, ah, oh yeah. So, switched over to the uh, Geome, and so the numbers stay the same, or there may have been a slight change, I don't know, probably it was a, a bit of a slippage between the two, um, and you can see, but the prices then, um, they changed as well. You see how the price move, price action moves. And if the price of ohm goes down, then the price of your G ohm goes down because it's staked directly to it. 
based on the indexes as well. Uh, oh, yes. We were finishing that. And now you can see we've earned one mech in or three mech. Because we now have our lock mech here earning. And here we have our lock mech, which will produce... Our, our you know our tokens here so what's this uh about 211 no 221 so 221 um i don't know how i'm gonna do this i think i'm just gonna go by the the the, the lp but then I, I can't just disrespect the lock mech up here hmm i'll think of something how i'll represent this on the thing but for now what did I say? Uh, 221. Well, boy, gee, if you watch this, I wonder if you did, could have did the math that fast. We argue about he, he thinks is, I don't know how you, you challenge somebody math, mathematical abilities. Or are we talking about calculations? Are we talking about abstract math? What are we talking about here? So, all right. I like the price. Oh, because it's always new, new stake when they're staking. That's the earn. So I didn't even count that 56 cent there, but yeah. That should earn way more than 56 cent. Well, no, I guess it's only been for a couple of hours now. It's not that much. It's only 0 0.12. So, don't have quite much a lot in here. So, Meyer Exchange, Umi talked about and the last thing is grim finance so grim if you remember tomb finance you know we have some money here in the masonry right and i you go here you see that but i've changed that to grim finance now why did i do that oh we got rid of cross chain like i said i got rid of snow dog umi z2o has changed over to umi when we swapped out w uh, wrap stake dome for the governance home uh, quickly Polygon or, or sorry uh, Clima has just been doing horrible but I expect that to go up and this probably is the time to throw more in, in it quite honestly and none of this is financial advice none of this is any type of advice in any sort, shape form or fashion from the very beginning always remember that but personally I, I threw more money in Clima <laughs> and with my little babies today I'm about to with their wallets they about to throw some more money in Clima I think it's on sale right now. Right before Christmas, I'm happy. Uh, Snowbank not doing much of anything. Uh, time is a little bit off, but time is going to last for a long time, so no worries about that. Spartacus is doing super well. The it starts Spartacadabra um, charm tokens that started selling on Beethoven X. Unless I did some calculations wrong, may not they had they didn't kind of. So they're they're. Um, they already start selling on, on um, on that Beethoven X, and I think Sparta Cadabra starts tomorrow, or the next day. Have to double check it. So, I think that's going to be awesome. You'll be able to use, be able to borrow against your own liquidity tokens, your wrapped liquidity tokens, to get collateralized debt, and uh, it's just going to be a lot of money being able to be built up. So. Here we had, you know, we have money in Tomb, but we've taken it out of Tomb and put it into Grim because Grim has the T share masonry, but also it auto compounds it. So you don't have to compound it in, in Tomb anymore. So you're able to just put it in Greer. I took my T shares, deposited them all, and now it will auto compound with me with the same, it would use Tomb masonry, but just auto compound it. So sweet to use zapper go to your quest you can use these little quests for these exchanges i just put like a dollar or something sam on a phantom network i would do and i got you know five phantom there i would do almost like a 0.05 phantom and get something that i use like what a t-shares i like that because and i know i'm getting tiny tiny amounts but you know something to do or you can even go like a 0.1 phantom Oops, oh, that, that looked nuts. What happened with that? 
had to make sure there wasn't nothing crazy happening. So I do that, like I do like a little bit of exchange, and I may even come over here and do a pool, see what pools are available. They usually have a BCT climber one that I've been throwing stuff in because it's, you know, cheap for climber. Save, come here. Uh, oh, no, they don't have the Phantom ones. That's so I'm like, what, what's, what's this? I just saw Akin Rinky Dink about cancel. Cancel. Uh, let's go to Polygon. Pool. And then you got Polygon Pool. Throw that other one, you know, figure what you like. I'm trying to do things that, you know, um, save. Here you had this little Matic save, you see. And these are not these are just small amounts. So that 66 cents here, and I'm able to finish these quests and up to level five on this um on this account. So things to keep busy with. I think D Bank though tends to have a better grasp of your wallet than uh, 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 uh. Okay, weird. Tends to have a better grasp of your wallet than Zapper. Doesn't seem like it now, but give it a second, it'll go through more stuff and get through everything. Oh, I'm about to say, did I have my Grim? Because I didn't have a Grim in here. Yet. Mm -mm. Well, I'm not going to keep you much longer. Here, the total we have for today now is at 17. This is kind of everything. Not everything, but for the most part, $1,772.52. Down a little bit. Market, you know, we've dropped this off. And so in a couple of days, I'm starting talking about the plans. Cause I think we're still in the midst, late stages, but still in the midst of the bull market. But we're going to go into a bear cycle at some point. And how to still make money during the bear cycle. And a lot of it is going to be taking profits in the near future. You know, we spread on all these crazy projects now, but we're going to start consolidating back, taking profits, pushing more towards Bitcoin and also uh, possibly Ethereum and stable coins and putting them into leverage um, positions where we're able to gain a yield and just Keep our our heads above water as we um and, and you know make some money as we get ready to for the next bull cycle so and and, and get a lot of projects that's going to be on sale at that time. So with that said, I love you. You love you. God loves us, and that's all that matters.